will get us underway very shortly. Nick Berry with the whistle today. He's your referee. And we're underway here at Harlequin's Rugby Union Club for round two of the NRC. And a clean take from Fiji early. They go the box kick straight away. Lamani puts it high. And to Maddox takes it cleanly, gives it to his playmaker partner who is smashed. Jack McGregor absolutely smashed and they've turned it over. Raidra has lined him up and put him into next week and straight away the Fiji go into their work. Wow, what a start. Volker takes them over the advantage line. And Drua go out the back now. And a bit of space for Nathabi. Gets the offload away to Tawaki. Tawaki's still going. They got some wind in their sails. The cross kick straight away. It doesn't land cleanly into the hands of Devita though. And it goes into touch. What a start from this Fiji and Drew aside. Well, absolutely incredible, wasn't it, Swainy? Look at the intensity they brought to the opening couple of minutes. And that little piece of play there was a beauty. Unfortunately, just slips through the hands, but what about the hit? Kaboom! Absolutely wailed by Raidra. And we'll have a scrum five metres out from the rising line. Hasn't been a happy hunting ground the old home of the Harlequins here for the rising. The last time they played was Crouch. against the Rams and they conceded 68 points. Set! Yeah, that's not what you want to do at one of your home grounds, that's for sure. Big scrum from Fiji. But the Rising hold on to it. And Tui Pilotu runs him out of a bit of trouble. Goes back to McGregor, who sends it downtown and will find touch just outside the Rising 22. So having to bail themselves out of a bit of trouble early. Yeah, they're under the pump, aren't they? Great attacking position now for Andrua. Come in, boys. Come in. Nick Berry just calling Fiji and Drua in. Come in, hold. One of the best young refs we've got in Australia. Clean ball for Fiji. And straight away, Daveta offload. Beautiful stuff from Andrua. They're playing loosey-goosey at the moment. Now Longo takes it up towards the five metre line. His Ta'alia Vutha. Slower ball, they pick and go. Vediaki, flying Fijian. Played against the Wallabies earlier this year, Vediaki. They're only couple of metres short of the rising line. Oh, and that has gone flying straight into the scone. <laughs> They're out right in the kisser. Again, though, some fantastic work from Fiji and Drew. It was a lovely little break and offload from Devita. That got him on the front foot. And then unfortunately, just some poor skill at the end, letting them down. But the pressure well and truly on the rising. Off. Bit of extra weight in this Melbourne Rising pack as Nick Berry has a quick chat to the Fijians. Just great to see the attitude that Fiji has brought to the NRC in 2017. They want to play the game up tempo, and I think the Australian teams are really going to learn a lot from having them in the game. Uh, sorry, the competition. And, and I think the key thing is just their ability to offload the ball. We see them offload the ball almost every time. They never go to ground and die with it. They're always looking to support, and it's something that there, Australian Jack? rugby players can really learn. Well, the key matchup today, Patheli Nathabi up against Jack McGregor. The two 10 jerseys. Really looking check. forward to seeing what they can bring to today's game. <laughs> Yeah, McGregor, he scored 13 points last line. week, and sure his delivery that okay. set alight the back line was fantastic, but his kicking, not only in-game, but at goal, was also great. 
Nathibi also, as I spoke about earlier in the game, fantastic last week. He scored two tries, but Swaney, that was from fullback. So it's going to be interesting to see him now adapt that style of play when he's got the 10 on his back. Well, they've managed to put the Melbourne Rising immediately on the back foot. Good crowd in here at Harlequins Rugby Club. Set! A good vibe around this NRC of 2017. Oh, again, a big scrum from Fiji. It's popped out into the hands of Sagiwa. And he's got it down. Try to Fiji and Drua. Well, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, but put that down to both. Beautiful work. The ball spits out the scrum, and Sagiwa, he's pounced on it, and he scored the opening try for Fiji and Drua. Lovely stuff from the blindside flanker. So we get another look of it. The rising never looked comfortable. Here comes the shove from Andrua. Very scrappy at the back. Toupe couldn't do much off the side of the scrum. And Sagawi pounced. Yeah, he sure did. Cleaned it up clean as a whistle. And then dragged about three rising players over the line with him. Real strength in the legs of Samu Sogiwa and Nathabi now. Lining up his first shot of the afternoon. No dramas. It's seven points to nil after five here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club in Melbourne. Samu Sagiwa, former Fiji Sevens player. 23 appearances on the HSBC circuit. Oh, terrific take from the rising. That's a better restart for them. And now Sturzaka gets it out to Smith. Met in the midfield. McGregor pops it out to Maddox. Flat ball. And they go out the back. It finds no one, though. Vailanu threw a loose pass. Yeah, he's trying to find Tui Pelotu there. Swaney as he linked out the back. But unfortunately, he's picked the gap. That's rolling into touch. Yeah, it's fine. Put seven in. I won't get you for numbers. Black, so, come in. Fiji, another chance to attack from their own half. They scored some long-range tries last week. Vediyaki cleans it up in the line-out. They pick and go. It's a bit of space up the middle. Now Longo, and now Lamani puts it on the box kick. And good little run here from Ratu. Runs it into a bit of traffic, though. Sturzaka goes short side. He's caught, though. Wrestled to deck by DeVita. McGregor, flat ball to Vailanu. Hit hard. He gets up and goes again. Ball still in. McGregor. Maddox with a flat ball out the back to Tui Pilotu. And here's Paisami with a bit of space. Puts it on the toe. And it hasn't been cleaned up. The rising. No, no advantage coming from that. Bit of a contest in the air there. Oh, big contact. There was Navuma. He was trying to run back on side. The ball's popped out the back from Sturzaka. And a big collision. Time. That's Tupo. A little bit slow. We'll get a lovely look at it here. Bang. Oh, and then comes right down on the knee. That would not be fun. Yeah, it looks like he knocked the wind out of him, that's for sure. Doesn't tickle. <laughs> Guys, Much better stuff. Sorry, Nat. Quick condition report down They're here. Pretty good conditions for rugby in Melbourne. Not too cool for the Fijians. Back home, it would be averaging about 29 degrees. It's 13 today here in Melbourne. They actually spent a couple of extra days in Brisbane just so they could stay in the warmer weather. Ground looks pretty good as well. A little bit damp underfoot. They've had a bit of rain here in Melbourne over the week. But overall, not too bad and looks great for rugby. Sure does. There was a bit of breeze around before, but it seems to have died down. Of course, we head off to Lawanga Park in Singatoka next week to watch the yeah, I'll, I'll Fiji and Drua take on New South Wales country. Yeah, if they're walking, I'm not going to get numbers. So we'll be back into their conditions. Conditions they're a little more settled to. 
It's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to see the Fijian locals get out and support their team. Taking on the New South Wales Country Eagles. Big matchup for both sides. Terrific opportunity here for the Rising. Set. Scrum's been under the pump early. That's a bit better. Taufa hands it to Sturzaka. Drops it back inside of Tui Pilotu. He's a hard man to bring down. They go wide. Paisami pins the ears back. He's still going. Just inches short. Cummins looking to run onto it. And he is smashed. And it's popped out on the side of the Fiji. And Drew up. You get a bit more, better angle for the clearance kick here. Fiji. Hold on. Hold red. Lamani, the box kick. Doesn't go out. Maddox plays on. And here's Tui Pilotu straightening again. Finds Maddox. He's elusive. The rising fullback. Here's Hansen. Flat ball out to Tupai. Tupai still going. Big fen from Igapote. Tupai brought down just short, but they pick and go. Hansen. It's loose. And now they go wide. McGregor drops it back inside to Maddox. Oh, big hit, Swaney. Good goal line defense. Sturzaka goes himself. And he gets it down. It's a try to Nick Sturzaka. Well, that was better stuff from the rising. Some lovely continuity across the park. But what about that run from Tupai to create the initial break? He cut him up the middle. And a big clean out there. And Stir Zachary, he's a wily customer. He's been around a long time. Always scanning the defensive line and keeping them honest. And he spots a little gap and bang, there we see the ball going down. Beautiful stuff from the rising. The NRC is going to be vitally important for Nick Sturzak at this season. He's had a real monopoly on that Rebels number nine position for the last couple of years. But with Will Genya going to the Rebels next year, it's going to be a bit of competition for him. A couple of years ago, he was a Wallabies bolter. He's since been overtaken by the likes of Joe Powell and Jake Gordon. So the next few weeks are going to be really, really important for him. Yeah, really good point, Nat. And... You know, as much as everyone's excited to see Will Genia come down, I think the leadership and, and a bit of a mentor role that Genia is going to bring also to the Melbourne Rebels is going to be fantastic. McGregor, pretty good game with the boot last week, four from five. <laughs> 13 points in total in round one. got the chance to add an extra two to his tally for 2017. Oh, beautiful. I oh, read the breeze beautifully and pots the goal. So it's seven points apiece, 10 minutes gone here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club in Melbourne. Terrific start to this round two match between the Fiji and Drua and the Melbourne Rising. Queensland Country already on the board today, taking home the Andy Pearl Cell Cup against Brisbane City in the local derby. Great start to this round two of 2017 NRC and Cummins. Mafu rather, cleans it up. Flat ball out to Vailanu again. A couple of carries already for Vailanu. I think they might have turned it over, Swaney. Good pressure at the breakdown, but it's illegal. You're okay, but you've come down. Off their feet. There's big pressure from Raidra. Yeah, talking about people that have been pretty dominant in the early stages of the game. You've got to say Raidra's in that as well. He's been everywhere. Some big hits in defence. I don't think that one's out, though. Oh, it does find touch. Just. And that's a part of the game that the Rising just cannot give in Drua this afternoon. They've got to make sure their kicks go in, force them to set piece. And use their skills. Any loose ball, counter-attack, this team can hurt you. Wailanu pops it to Sturzaka. Straightening is Tui Pilotu, and he straightens straight through over the 22. Quick ball. 
McGregor drops it inside to O'Connor. Here's Miafu. He's a big human. Emmanuel Miafu. Stay black. McGregor looking to straighten. Gives it to Tui Polotu. He needed to get the ball free. Couldn't. Sturzaka picks and goes. Release, he's missed it. Toby Smith having to step into the unfamiliar role of scrum half. Ooh, McGregor with a bit of footwork Hold there. Back. Oh, no. Play it. Back. And now McGregor finds nobody in the ball, dribbles over the touchline. We'll come back for the penalty though. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got it. Seven. Spoke pre-game about this rising st uh, side and how young they are. Jack McGregor is one of those players. He actually played his first game of senior footy okay, last weekend against yeah, the sure. Perth Spirit. Before that, he'd only played at under-20s level. So really building up the experience for these young blokes so that uh, the Rebels have a lot of talent to pick from in the future. And it's a short ball back to Hanson. Great little play at line-out time. It was a nifty little play down the front of the line out. Yeah, it's quick thinking. This is where the re the rising, excuse me, their professional status is going to take over. James Hansen at the front spotted the opportunity. Oh. Well, I don't know. He was very close to the line. Did he have a tag on that white line? All it takes is one. It could just be a stud. Oh, that's oh, I out. I think he's touched the line, so it'll be no try. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get much closer than that, though. Gee, it was tight. Yes. Before grounding the ball. So he's, he's put a foot in touch, so we're playing a five-metre line out to black? Correct. Okay, thank you. Five-metre line out. Time back on. No try. Well, and worst Put of all, touch. the rising had run all the way back, yeah. expecting the try, and yeah. now they have to go all the way back down the other end out, of the field. Put in touch. Oh, goodness oh, no. me. It was a nifty little play yeah. down the front of the line out. Just hold him, old. Holly, hold him. Yeah, just waiting for these boys to come down. So just a let off for the Fiji and Drua. Okay, let's go. Go to the front. Release red! Full arm. Lamani. Sends it back and they put it into touch just down past the 22. Not a bad result for Andrew there. That's a pressure situation to have to throw in. And I thought they did very well. Although, for the Melbourne Rising, still a cracking position, 25 metres out. After weathering the early storm from Fiji, this Rising side have come straight back into it, and Tupai goes through a, a gaping hole. Tupilotu goes to shift it along to Tupou. Vailanu brought down about seven out. They go back to the short side, and McGregor, once again, he has met. Here's Toby Smith. Cummins to his second row partner, Mayafu. Oh, ooh. And it didn't sit up for the rising players. Hunter Paisami as well was coming on the short ball and got absolutely smashed. We're going to get another look at it here. The offload from Mefu was a little beauty. Bang! <laughs> oh, 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 goodness me. This Fiji side hasn't come to play touch this afternoon. A little bit of concern now for Jack You're McGregor. Right. Can you put it back in? Okay, all right, we're going. Dislocated finger. I've had a couple of those, Swainy. They are not fun. Oh, 
What about the words there from Nick Berry? You put it back in? Okay, we're playing on. <laughs> Ouch. Well, they certainly are bringing the right intensity this afternoon. BG and Drua, as you see some of the run meters there. Mm -hmm. After a tough start to the game, they're rising well and truly on top. Crouch! Five! Set! Better scrum from the rising. It's picked up at the back by Raidra, though. Lamani sends it back to Nathabi. Takes us down towards halfway. Lovely kick. Well, they're absorbing the pressure, aren't they? They've had pretty much everything the rising can throw at them in the last 10 minutes. The defence is holding up pretty well at this stage. They go short again to the front of the line out. This time they make the error, so a let off for Fiji once again. Well, it was on again. Hansen spotted it, but unfortunately Sturzaka just couldn't hold on. He's had a look at the defence. He was looking to put Hansen away, and unfortunately that little look. Little look Scores the knock on. Crouch! Fine! Set! Squeeze now! That's a better scrum from both sides. Flat ball. And the offload comes. It's an absolute beauty from the Fijian Drua. Tova Levu went into a big gap and throw a long pass out to Nathabi. They play on. Here's Lamani stepping around a couple. Oh, quick ball from the Fijian Drua. It's loose and they love it that way. Deveta. And it was called a ball, so they'll turn it over. Unlucky. Oh, that is such a shame. That was lovely play. The pass from the base of the scrum from Lamani was horrible at the previous lineout, but what about the way they mopped it up? Tuavilu was the man that went through, straight through the guts. Here's another look at it, and it was a very loose pass. But what about the pickup and the offload? Tommy Levu is a big man and floated it out to Nathabi. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Pressure shifts back onto the rising. Be a big scrum. But it's illegal. Scrum straight. Yeah. Angling in. And that really is the part of the game where in Drew they struggled last week against Brisbane City and they're struggling again here this afternoon. Is it set piece time? Didn't find touch. So another chance here for the Andrew. And Devita runs into contact. They've got numbers to burn out this left, but they go inside to Vasateri. Here's Nathabi once again, gets the offload away to Stewart, the captain. Playing with very good width, this Fiji and Drew aside, Bocca. They go out the back once again, gets the pop away to Navuma. Does very well to hang on. Missed it! Hold red! Slower ball now for Ndrua. Stay red! Pop it out. One off the rock. And now they get the pick and drive going. Once again, the in draw. Very close. Stay red. Very close indeed. Tauya Vutha. Now they go wide. There's numbers out here. Straightens it up. And Deveta docks it down for their second try.
Well, what a fantastic try from Fiji Endura. And Swaney, the thing that impressed me the most about that was their patience. They threw the ball around in the early stages to get in the right position, but when they got close, they treasured the ball and then they moved it to their key man. That little run brought them within about a metre. And look at the patience just to weigh up the options. Another little crack through the forwards, draw in a few more of the rising defence. And then when they shifted the ball, it was the great feat and the big friend from De Vita. And he's tough to stop that close to the line. Yeah, wonderful work. Straightened up beautifully, De Vita. He's been everywhere in this opening 22 minutes. So close to scoring early on with the crossfield kick. Some beautiful stuff in counter-attacks and big tackles. Tell you what, this VG team, they've got some skills. Baby, and you go two from two. Hits it across the face, so it'll remain 12 points to seven. Fiji and Drew a lead after 22. A lot of players in this Fiji and Drew aside from the services, armed services over in Fiji. Deveta, policeman on the island nation. End up by Tauya Vutha off the kickoff. Now they straighten it up. Vasateri running hard into the line. Lamani with the box kick. The chases are coming through. McGregor can't clean it up. Ratu had to go back and clean it up. Well, that was De Vita again. It was a beautifully weighted kick from Lamani. Just as it was coming down into the hands of Jack McGregor, De Vita was on the scene. But unfortunately, it's just come off his hand and gone forward. When you've just had dislocated your finger, it's still a bit sore. I'm sure that was the last thing that he wanted to see coming at him. Poor Jack McGregor. Sunny but chilly conditions here in Melbourne. Around 15 degrees. Comes back for Sturzaka. McGregor runs onto it. Is Maddox. Maddox is elusive. Got the ball away to Tupo. Who beat one, beat two. Still going. Pop it out to Cummins in the midfield. Back the short side to Maddox, who steps around one. Look forward to me. Thank you. And Paisami. Paisami, so low to the ground. Hard to stop. Gregor to Miafu. Gets the offload away to Toby Smith. Oh, great little run there. And then it's going to be a try to the rising, and it's going to be James Hansen. He's going to make up for the one that was disallowed earlier. Well, that was beautiful play. When the phases extend, unfortunately for the Andrewer, they're getting a bit scrappy in defence. The communication dropped off, and the hole started to appeal again. It was the number six, Tupai, doing a lot of the original damage. And then James Hansen showing his class on the end of the line to score a great try. And the rising, haven't they? They've looked pretty dangerous when they've been up there. They seem to keep coming away with points, Swaney. Made hard work of it, James Hansen, with the put down, but got it down nonetheless. It was a lovely run from Tupai. Some good hands there on the end from Rory O'Connor as well. Sagiwa trying to get underneath. Right at the end there well, on the, the grounding. Their structure might not be completely sound, but their intensity and the effort they're giving this Fiji and Drew aside is exceptional. There's going to be no easy points for the Rising this afternoon. McGregor looking to add the extras. And he can't do it either, so it's 12 all. 25 minutes gone here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club in Melbourne. Two tries apiece in this round two clash. 
between the Fiji and Drua and Melbourne Rising. The baby gets us restarted. It's too big, big though. And we'll come back for a scrum at halfway. It's a shame, just a little bit too long from Nathabi, but he struck the ball beautifully. That's exactly where you want to put it if you want your team to regather. And obviously the skills he picked up on the World 7 Series. Now a dangerous attacking position for the Rising. Midfield scrum always tough. They've gone for the split. McGregor on the far side of the field. That's Maddox, first receiver. And he is dangerous Crunch. if you give him a bit of space. Five. Set. <laughs> Immediately goes to deck. Nothing else to say. Pretty heavy underfoot walking around on the field. He's just gone down. Early in the game, Shep. Yeah, we were talking about how often the Fiji inside actually plays in that condition. Well, generally pretty dry tracks that they're used to. It'll mean the legs will get a little bit heavier towards the back end of each half. And of course, it makes scrummaging pretty tough as well. Five. Set. Sturzaker goes for a run. Trying to get on the outside of his man, but brought to deck by Vokka. Tupo goes into scrum half and goes himself. Black. He's McGregor again. Flat ball to Hanson. And Rory O'Connor can't hold on to it, so Fiji looking to counter. Pick and go through the middle. They're finding plenty of space. Right up the guts around no, the rug. No advantage there for the knock. Yeah, Come Hansen, back to the scrum. Hanson no, just good. trying to shift a little bit too close to contact. Way too hard into the hands of O'Connor and he couldn't hold on. Time off, guys. I'll go check this out. And again, as we spoke about earlier, Swainy, that's where you can really get hurt by this Fiji and Drew aside in broken play and loose play, turnover, counter-attack. That's where they want to play the game and you've got to try and keep those opportunities for them to a minimum. How's he look? Someone in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, in a bit of drama, that's for sure to be a knee just check it, checking the structural integrity of the ligaments there 28 minutes gone 12 points a piece two tries all Shep Do you ever replace him? Okay. that's the that's the medial test that they were just doing before Swainy and it didn't look too good yeah this is the pick and drive through the middle earlier it's Violana who gets on the ball here there, and you can see there Violano's hand all over the pill. Yeah, very handy at the breakdown, this Melbourne Rising back row. Violano, Talfa and Tupai. Of course, unlucky to have the likes of Lepetti Tamani not out there this afternoon. Also, we see Vu Marika Koriabidi. Tauya Vutha looks to be back on his feet and wandering towards the scrum though it looks like i'll take him off yeah he's definitely being replaced okay, great guys, to see that he's walking though that's positive signs hopefully the damage nothing too serious for the big second rower from their own half. Here's Lamani. Early ball. That's a bat. Release now, release. He's got a knee now. Release. Release. And Nick Berry oh, calling well for the tackle player. Volker taking it into contact. They're running it in high. This Fiji and Drew aside. They go out the back now. Mathabi staying on his feet well. 
and taking it into contact. Stewart, the captain, joining the line. Now Lungo in midfield. And now Sagiwa, the try scorer. They go same way. Volker. Can't hold on to it. So again, just the little errors creeping into their game. Cam Shepard. Yeah, it must be getting frustrated for them. Frustrating, sorry, 20 for them. Because they're really working well in attack. There's plenty of options in and outside, Nathabi. And the forward's carrying hard around the corner. When you make those little mistakes like that, it just takes all the wind out of your sail. The Rising doing a great job at the breakdown to slow this Fiji ball down. You've got to think that was a, a target for them at training to focus on slowing them down as much as possible and making them earn every metre they get. Bit of cloud cover, but the sun's just come back out as the Fiji and Drua with a big shove. Comes out on the rising side, though. McGregor does well to pick it up off his bootlaces. Ooh, he's just clipped around the throat there by Vasateri. It was a great little play there from Vasateri, but we'll come back for the high shot on McGregor. Oh, Vasateri threw the arm out, almost clothesline poor Jack McGregor, and then works his way round and pulls off the little grab out of the air. Oh, apologies, it was actually Nathabi with the high shot. I don't think there was much in it. Just threw the arm out, hoping to wrap him up around the shoulders. Yeah, no malice in that one. And that one into the Harlequins clubhouse. It's about seven or eight deep around there, so a good crowd in here. Harlequins Rugby Union Club. Great little clubhouse as well in the suburbs of Melbourne. Hanson goes deep. Pops it out to Sturzaka, throws it straight into Ratu's head. And it comes out on the side of the Indrua. So Tawaki goes for a rumble. Raidra. Baby gets it out to Vasateri again. Rising trying to affect this choke tackle, but and they're doing a good job of it, forcing the error once again. Well, what about the thud that the ball made when it came off Ratu? His head that stirs. I watch this boom. <laughs> You heard it from here. It was like someone spiking a volleyball. <laughs> Just on Katoni Ratu, regardless of that Falcon there, they've got massive wraps on him. He actually came through a similar program to Sefanai Valu. He was the top scorer in the local competition here in Melbourne this season. And we're hoping that he might be able to become the next Sefa. He's had a couple of runs so far today. And a Falcon. <laughs> put that on the put that on the stat sheet. <laughs> Another big scrum. The rising just holding on at scrum time at the moment. Tui Pilotu gets it out to Paisami, who's met heavily in contact. He was held, so a penalty. And they play on quickly the Fiji and Drua. Seru on the field for the Injitau Yavutha. And now Vetiaki. Coming out to Tawaki once again. A couple of carries for the big man. Pops it off the ground to Stewart, his captain. Lamani back to Vetiaki. So the front row getting a few touches in this phase of play. Oh, the work rate sensational. Now in the Fabi. Short ball and thunders into the defence does Vasateri. It was beautiful stuff. They go same way. Now Volker. 
about six metres short. Stewart standing at first receiver. Pops it to Vediaki. Again, the choke tackle. Better come, that's your man. Very calling for the release. And once again, Fiji and Drew are looking to pick and go. Pops it out to Seru, the replacement. They pick and go again. Just inches short. Lamani, now he goes wide to Stewart. Just inches short. The rising defensive line holding on for grim life at the moment. Tawaki picks and goes. Now Stewart going for the pick and go. They put the hammer on. 15 phases. There's 16. So close. Devita looking for his second today. Romani. Vediaki with the pick and go. They're so close here. They've got numbers out on this left hand side. But they're continuing to rumble it up through the forwards. They're celebrating. We'll go upstairs. So close. <laughs> what about that for the Andrua? Plenty of space on both sides, but they decided to just go through the forwards. Dan, can you hear me clearly? Okay, on field decision is no try. I believe the play has been held up. So I was playing advantage for red nine offside. So please check if the ball's been grounded. Well, considering the mound of people that were around the ball, I think it's going to be very tough to get any view here of the ball getting close to the try line. See how we go. Terrific patience. Naya Lungu, I think, was the last man to yeah, dive to the line. That's him on the far side. Well, that camera angle certainly isn't going to show us anything. They went 20 phases. Plenty of celebration from Stewart and Lamani. Lamani wouldn't look out of place on a Toyota ad. Here's a good look at it. Oh. Playing advantage. There's, an in there. okay, There's a little gap no near Nick Sturzak's knee. That's where you want to be looking. And I don't think we're going to get anything conclusive. Bang, there goes Lamani up into the air. Got some hops on him. He really went for the high jump over the crossbar. Yes, mate. No clear evidence of a grounding. Stay with your on-field decision. OK, thank you. No, no, no try. No try. OK, there was an offside, though, so it's your penalty. Come back for the penalty. Here we go. They're not going to wait around. On the line, boys. They're going to scrum it down. Scrum, guys. I like that decision. Smart idea. Get it to one of your players yeah, with a little bit of speed and some footwork and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. They've got about seven to choose from, so which one will it be? The defence has been very good from this rising side. They've muscled up 19 phases that last possession. And two minutes 35 with the ball in possession. That is a long time to be defending. Nathabi just floating behind the scrum. Which side's he going to choose? Let's not forget this scrum dominance that Fiji and Drew are ahead. Stewart on the high side. Lamani goes himself and is met by McGregor. What about the slap? And what about the turnover from the rising? Incredible stuff on their own line. Well, lovely work again from the rising. As I said, it's obviously a huge focus for them to try and slow this ball down. I thought that ball had to go there from Lamani to Stewart. Stewart was yelling for it. But Tafu straight onto the ball. Too much space and not much. Lamani, all the Fiji and Drua can do about that. So they're going to have to once again start or defend, mind you, down towards halfway. The rising out of trouble. Incredible stuff on their own line. That galvanises the team. Oh, Talfa. 
can't hold on to it. So we'll come back. It was a knock on each way. It's a shame. It was a beautiful throw from Hanson. We had a lovely view of it down the barrel of the commentary box. But unfortunately, Sione Tafu just unable to hold on. And then Drua get another chance, have a crack at this rising side. So impressed to think these guys have really only had one competitive game together. And the skill and continuity they're showing as a team this afternoon, just outstanding. We're littered with flying Fijians. Free kick, so they'll play on quickly. And here comes Vasateri into contact. The Fabi looking for a bit of space and got the arm free. Takes it over the 22. Once again, the rising at the breakdown, absolute pests. <laughs> a great way to describe them. This time it was Tupai straight onto the ball. And unfortunately for Fiji and Drew, they're just getting caught in some bad positions. When you've got a team that's good at the breakdown, like the rising A, you don't want to get caught on your back. And unfortunately for Nathabi, trying to force the offload, just got caught. And that was all the time that Tupai needed to force the turnover. Good take for our cameraman up there on the camera deck. Here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club in Melbourne. Good job, fellas. Goes deep. No mistake this time. Actually, it was a mistake. It did. It drifted over to the left. Cummins was the receiver. You hear there from, from Nick Berry. I can't let that one go, boys. <laughs> Sometimes referees will be a little bit lenient if the other team doesn't compete at the same position. But uh, as Nick Berry said, that one just a little bit too far off centre. Yeah, when it's caught on the outside shoulder, it's time to blow it up. And Nick Berry being a former halfback as well, he'd know about the frustration of the old not in straight. The Andrua scrum half Lamani goes for a gallop. Out the back oh, now to Nathabi. Oh, oh, oh. What a shot from Paisami. Bang! In the midfield. Tell you what, there's been some contact today. The shoulders are warm. And this rising side just continue to muscle up in D. Unbelievable. Well, Paisami read it so well. He knew that the short ball... Uh, Vesiteri was never on. Nathabi out the back and kaboom. This will be a great angle of it. Oh! <laughs> Hunter Paisami, take a bow. That was beautiful. He certainly is a hunter. <laughs> he hunted that one. Oh, beautifully read. He had eyes for one man and one man only. Not far off half time here, 12 points apiece. She's been even Stevens most of the half. It's been quite the battle, hasn't it? Been a terrific spectacle so far. A great little period of about 10 minutes for the rising where they were just camped on the Andrew line, but since then it's been all the Fijians. Crouch! So important, they switch on now. They don't want to concede a try late in this first half. Sturzaka out the back to McGregor. And here's Ratu joining the line. He's held up off the ground though. It's been turned over by Andrua. This is what they love. A bit of space up the middle. And Stewart goes for a run. Pops it up to Malamani, but can't hold on to it. <laughs> And that'll be half time here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club. 12 points apiece. We're looking to replicate that. Nick Berry blows time on, and we're underway for the second half. And it stays in the field of play only just, mind you. Big pressure, though, coming from the rising at the breakdown. Now, Navuma, a little hooker. Not much of him. 
Lamani looking around. And Drew up into the midfield. Loose pass from Lamani. Nathabi. Oh, it's beautiful work from Nathabi. Nathabi, will he go all the way? He sure will. You better believe it. It's a beauty from the Indrua. <laughs> oh, that's one of the best individual tries you'll ever see in the NRC, ladies and gentlemen. What a run by the number 10. And Nathabi, he moved from fullback last week into the 10. And I'm sure everyone in Fiji was a little bit worried if he'd have enough space, but look at the turn of speed. Straight past Hansen. And then it's not a step, it's just a slight weave round Maddox. Too much pace for McGregor. And what a try to the Fiji and Drew at number 10, oh. Nathabi. He dots it down and runs all the way to the ambulance. Parked in the car park. Just kept going. <laughs> run, Forrest, run. <laughs> Well, he showed the same sort of toe as the old Forrest Gump. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, and that's the extras. extras. Just pots it over. So it'll be 19 points to 12. The Fiji and Drua, we spoke about it just as we were kicking off. The second half last week against the Brisbane City side was flying. And they started like a house on fire once again. McGregor. With the kickoff. Goes backwards. It's a play on. on top of Levu. Takes up the first hit up. Volka. Not really making the advantage line here. The game off the line well the rising. Navuma hit hard by Mirfu. And they put it in behind. It was a lovely little kick, but it was cleaned up by Ratu. Toby Smith has to go down, pick one up off the bootlaces. They come short side. And here's a nice little run from Ratu once again. By Lanu shifting the ball on. McGregor. Out to O'Connor in the midfield. McGregor looping around nicely by Sami is whacked again. Oh! He stayed on his feet, those trainings. Its advantage was high. Well, he just absorbed the big hit by Sami. This will be the view. Oh, <laughs> up around the chops. It doesn't phase him, though. Oh, a bit of whiplash there for Hunter. Whack. Almost see the sweat come pouring out of his head. Paisami and Tui Pilotu have been extremely dangerous in the midfield for the Rising today. They just carry so hard and it's straight, isn't it? Very lateral, very uh, rare that you see them get lateral. And it's good for McGregor to have two strong carriers like that outside him at all time. Plenty of width now from the Rising back line. Ratu right on this near touch line. They get it to Mirfu. He's a big man. And now a flat ball to Tui Pilotu. Vasateri wrapped him up. They go the same way. Drops it to Paisami. Release D from the Drua. Here's Hansen. They go the same way. Drops it back inside to Tupo. Hansen with the pick and go now. Release now! BGD line holding up pretty well. Release Cummins, the, the skipper, goes for a run, and now he is two by. They're offside though. Bit of a high shot. Now McGregor again. They go inside to Maddox, and Maddox dies over. It's a beauty from the rising. Plenty of space on that inside. They just wore them down and wore them down, the rising. And Maddox, he came into the game under a little bit of an injury cloud. They gave him the warm-up to prove his fitness. And after that, it looks like he's pretty sweet. A lovely little switch ball. Tui Pelotu inside to Maddox. Slips out of the tackle of Seru. And he's a big man, big long arms. He reaches out and scores a try for the rising. Good stuff from the young fullback. 
just got it down. The back line's really starting to link up. I think it's probably worth noting as well that the average age is just 20, and that includes Nick Sturzacker, who's 26. So the youngest is obviously Samisi Tupo at 18. But, I mean, it's pretty impressive for such a young back line. Yeah, sure is, Nat. Sonny Telfa getting helped off the field. No good. McGregor looking to add the extras and tie us up once again. Just six minutes gone in this second half. We're at 19 points apiece. 46 minutes gone. Good crowd here at Harlequins Rugby Club. Good support for both sides. A big Fijian community down here in Melbourne. And they're big fans of their new NRC side. The baby. High one. Drops it right on the 10. It's taken beautifully though. By Tupo, got the ball away, got a slip to slip ball away to Smith. Right work at the breakdown though from Drew. Drua. They play on quickly, they love a quick tap this side. Oh, oh solid defence. Rising, really been getting up off the line quickly. Hitting hard to Waki. Really trying to affect that choke tackle method to Voka now. Stays on his feet. Takes it up towards the 10. Oh, again. That's a Terry. He bumps out a one. Trying to get the spot tackle and the quick play from DeVita. Can't find the play though. It's been picked up by Vailanu, and it's now rising ball. We'll come back for the knock on. It's frenetic stuff. <laughs> it certainly is. And what about the energy the Indrua has when there is a penalty? They're not kicking it into touch or taking the scrum. And the way they start talking and reacting to the ball carrier is just incredible to watch. Beautiful stuff once again from the forward pack and a lovely run from Vesateri and De, De Vita as well. He's been on fire this afternoon. 105 run metres in 48 minutes. That's impressive. Yeah, clocking up some good numbers, Vasateri, today. See how the scrum holds up in this second half for the rising. And Sturzaka goes for a little run himself. Makes good metres. Hanson, long ball to O'Connor, his front row partner. Now they've got some space. Here's Paisami on the toe. And Ratu flying after it, but it beats them all into touch. Uh, not a bad result there, Swaney, but I would have liked to have seen them kept it in hand, the rising. He had Ratu on the outside, who we know has got absolute pace. And he set him away, and they might have just managed to retain possession. However, they know that... And drew a set piece isn't fantastic. You know, try and put some pressure here now at line out time. Maguma throwing in. Can't find his mark. It's been turned over beautifully by the rising. So they swing into attack. Quick ball from Tui Palotu. Out to Maddox. They're under pressure now. Paisami having to clean up the ball. Lovely hands from Maddox to reel that in. Hansen runs the flat line. Turns the ball back inside to Paisami. A lot of inside balls from this rising side. Oh, the Indrua do beautifully at the breakdown, though. Okay. They'll play on quickly. Sarah was a man who caught the turnover. Here they go. This is where they're dangerous. Sal. Play it. He's got it. Turnover. It's been turned over immediately by Bailanu, though. It's a free-for-all at the breakdown. And now there's a bit of space. For the rising, Vasateri cleans it up. Wow. 
It's like a pinball, this football at the moment. Navuma, if they shift it, there's some space out here. Amani puts it on the toe. There's oodles of space. The chase is coming from Devita. Oh, beautiful work there. It's a wonderful little play from the rising Ratu. He did absolutely beautifully. Now there's oodles of space for the rising down this near touch line. Maddox now. Harrison. Advantage for the rising. Here's O'Connor. Mirfu. Looks to have shifted on quickly. Couldn't find his man. Maddox not in a good way here. Oh, we got a little taste of the physicality firsthand. That little altercation happened right in front of our commentary box. Just listen to this. No, no, I'll come back. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. When, when Maddox carried on that previous run. A lot of attention while he was on the deck. A few of the rising stars not too happy about the extra treatment. Freddy Saanga on the field. As I said right earlier, now. there's no easy points against this Fiji and Drew aside. They're very physical. They want to try and roughen you up. You've got to be able to handle it. So Toby Smith comes from the field. Big chance for the rising. Oh, it's been turned over. Lovely work in the line out from the Indrua. The line out's been a real point of contention. A tough one for the rising. But plenty of dramas. Navuma looking to carry it up. Not much of him, the Fiji Indrua hooker. A box kick. It's drifted into touch right in front of the commentary box here. Oh, it's a beautiful work at the line out. Yeah, really done well. Betty Yaki as well, a big carry off the possession. We got a little bit of confusion on the field. Nick Berry thought the ball was always inside the 22. It seems it's been carried back. So the Rebels will walk back down onto the and drew a 22. The rising apologies. I might start with R. I do that every week, don't I? Nat. <laughs> Quick injury update on Sione Taufu. He's rolled his ankle, so nothing too serious, but his day's done. Clean ball from Cummins. Tui Pilotu gets it to Vailanu, who's joined the back line. He's met well, though, by the Indrua. Is Miyafu. Some good carries, the big fella. McGregor, oh, a little one out of the back of the hand on on the inside to Cummins. Oh, guys, there's a back line offside at the line out. The back line at the line out. Hold, hold. No. Easy mark. Black back line. Nick Ollie. Berry laying down the law. Thank you. Thank you. Backwards. Oh, goodness me, a little fumble there. It's going quick hands out to the lot. Wing though, Ratu let it go, go carried on. into touch. Let it go, let it go. Well, so. it was just a little bit of a juggle that cost him there, unfortunately, Ratu. You can see him lining up to unleash that big left foot step. He had to readjust to catch the ball. Good defence from Andrua. Black. To force him out over the touch line. A frenetic oh. period of play. Four. It's certainly going to start to take its toll on both these sides. Turned over by Mirfu. Mirfu trying to get the arms free. Oh, he does well, the big fella. Backwards. It's coming off backwards, and it's oh, yeah, popped out backwards. the back now for the rising. They've got numbers on this far side. Tupo fumbles it with the line wide open. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself. The ball from Maddox wasn't great, but it certainly was catchable. And if Tupo had received the ball, there was no way the Fiji and Drew were going to stop him. That's one that's gone begging for the rising here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club. That's Maddox now with the ball. Oh, you've got to take that. And he'll be filthy with himself. Samesi Tupo. Hands 
all went collectively onto the head. The old face palm moment. It's sometimes the hardest. You know the line's wide open. You know you're probably going to score. Do you put it down or do you do a big swan dive? Five. That's probably what was going through his head, the young winger. Got to catch it first. Now the injury will go for a run. Heavy contact. Raidra. Pick and go from Sal. Pretty loose at the breakdown, though. Ball still in. Play it. Penalty. Yeah, that's a new law this year in the NRC. At the breakdown, you can't kick it. It's an automatic penalty. You can't kick it out and spoil it. You need to actually make the motion of raking it back on which, your side. Which I think is a really good rule change. You know, so often we see people disrupting at the breakdown. It doesn't take any skill to just stick your foot in and kick it away. So I'm, I'm, I'm really to the fore on that rule change. Interesting to see there's been a change at halfback. Uh, Frank Lamani has come from the field. He's had a beauty and he's been replaced by Cerro Duvalati. James Hansen has left the field also. Saliva Saliva on. And now clean ball. Nefembi drops it back inside to Vasateri. Oh, this is great play. And now here's Tobelebu. Runs straight over the top of Jack Maddox. They keep it alive. It's great play from the Fiji and Drew and Nefembi. Oh, one right out of the back of the hand. Oh, that is an absolute ripper. Sagiwa with his second. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? Whenever they get the ball, you can't help but just come to the edge of your seat or get to your feet. That's what everyone at Harlan's, Harlequin's Rugby Union Club did. It was a beautiful little run. Get out of my way, Maddox. He says as he keeps going. And then the speed of ball from the breakdown was beautiful. Nathabi has been so hard to contest with. The little ball out the back of the hand was a peach. And let's hope Sagiwa is not hurt because that was a fantastic try to the Fiji and Drua. That's his second for the day. And hard to bring down the big blindside flanker. Well, these guys get excited when they get the ball and there's a bit of open space, but the crowd gets equally excited, don't they? Oh, mate. You feel the energy grow as they start to get in a bit of open space. I think even the rising fans were cheering as they watched that one. Been an absolutely outstanding atmosphere down here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club. Breeze right in the face of Nathibi now. He wants to start this one right. He's going to try and push it across the face. Oh. He started it left. <laughs> Did the old reverse fade. It was a beauty. <laughs> it was just brute power. 26 points to 19. VG and Drua leading. And a great crowd in. Five or six deep along the clubhouse side here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club, a great little rugby club. Plenty of kids in attendance as well, which is great to see. Golden Oldies tournament happening on the field adjacent to us as it's a big take there from Fiji. Full arm, bond on. It's been tit for tat all day. As you can see right there, the box kick from Lamani. Tupo though, does well under the high ball. Stay black. Rising, go out the back to McGregor, who spots a bit of space. Quick hands from Tui Pilotu out to Vailanu. Release now! McGregor once again, another flat ball. Out to Tupai. He's done well, Jack McGregor. That is a pearler of a pass out to Tupo. And now he's got a bit of space. Oh, brought down beautifully, though, by the Andrua. Now they counter-attack. This is a ripper. Nathabi. Oh, they won't catch him. That is special from the Fiji Andrua. Oh. Well, if I wasn't excited after the last one, that one's got me to my, on to my feet. What a run from Nathabi. I was a little bit concerned about him shifting from fullback to 10 and wondering if he was going to have much Paul in hand with that much space. 
but he's just found it this afternoon. Look at the speed he reacts off this turnover. It's a lovely tackle from behind from Voka. He spills the ball loose and Nathabi's just waiting. He slips between two tackles. That's already four people beaten. And there is no way Tupai was going to have the speed to catch up with the former Fijian seven flyer. And what about the finish? Nathabi. What about the pair of heels on him? He has got some jet shoes. The turn of pace, just incredible. And like all the best players in the world can do, he can change direction and doesn't seem to lose any speed. What a talent this kid is. Also played for the Fiji under 20s. Extras are good, 33 points to 19. 20 minutes to play. Nathabi. Shep, you spoke about you were a bit concerned about him shifting from fullback to fly half, but I can tell you that his halves partner, Frank Lamani, actually reckons that he's the best 10 in the team. So watch out for him. Again, cleaned up there by Kavui Lati. Outside. Replacement on outside. the field. Outside, and Drew McBerry trying to ram home the point that they're outside the 22. Nathabi puts up a high ball in the midfield. The chase is on. Oh, it's been picked up beautifully. What a pick up by Devita. Devita striding out, gets the ball away. Oh, what about the party that this and Drew aside is putting on? And Vasa Terry, welcome back to this party. <laughs> oh, Sweeney, fantastic. He couldn't be more excited. This place has gone nuts. What a show this BG and Drew aside is putting on. I tell you what, I can't help but join the party either. The finish from Vasa Terry was beautiful. But what about the catch regather from Devita? He didn't have the pace. It was a lovely covering tackle from Maddox. But what they do better than anyone in the competition is offload the ball in contact. Vasateri looming up on the inside. He gets the ball out in front. Too much pace. And the inside centre. He's had a great game. He deserved a five-pointer. Well, this will rack up 40 points and a bonus point at the moment for the Fiji and Drua. Nathabi adds the extras. What about the triple bang, bang, bang from this <laughs> Fiji and Drua side? Well, I've said it multiple times this afternoon. Again, you can't give them counter-attack or turnover ball. They will kill you. Unfortunately, the rising, making all the bad mistakes. It's just a couple of missed tackles here and there. Nathabi with 20 individual points. The replacement, Thivui Lati, on the field. Maddox now spins out of one, gets met by Nandruku. Rising. They've been absolutely shocked. Now Tui Pilotu, been strong all day. Here's Ratu. Didn't find touch. Pops it back inside the Tui Pilotu. Great little play to Tom Maloney. T-Bone on the field. Maddox. Flat ball. Oh, the shoulders are warm. They're hot today. Whack. Goes the Indrua. That was huge. They go back to short side. Here's Paisami. He's been strong all day also. Just need to settle it down a little bit. Does this rising side. Collio. Now Tui Pilotu. Straightens and goes himself. Tupai only just getting back to his feet after that big hit. Goddard on the field. Here's Cummins. Quick hands from the rising. It's been picked off. Will come back for the offside. <laughs> Sal, you thought he was down the other end. Well, the gallery came alight when they saw him almost pick that one off. What about this shot here, though, on Tupai? Oh, 
bang, and it was Sal. Oh, it is shock and awe from the Fiji and Drua. Mark my words. Ikapoti Tupai, he's not a small fella either. He is a big boy. It takes a lot to rock him back in his boots like that. Twice in a couple of minutes, that has got to hurt. It took him a little while to get up there as well. They've been rattled, this rising side. But a chance, still 15 to go. Plenty of time. But three converted tries in five minutes for the Fiji and Drua. Patience the key for the rising. Just hold on to the ball, stay down this end of the field. They've managed to come away with points every time they've done that. Saliva, Saliva with ball in hand. Clean take for Cummins. Setting up the mall. Tom Maloney with his hands on the ball at the moment. Goddard goes in digging. A nice little inside ball to Tui Palotu, who's still on his feet. Hard to stop. Ball's available. McGregor picks it up off the boot laces. Maddox trying to wriggle his way out of one. They go back to Cummins. Goddard gets it out to Saanga. Could be a turnover, Swaney. No. Apologies, that was Hagen Garner. And now Saliva Saliva. Got advantage, nine. Got advantage. Flat ball out once again. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't believe it, Nathabi. That would have been three. Because I tell you what, no one on the rising team was going to catch him. But referee Nick Berry playing advantage for an earlier infringement. And all the rising fans sigh relief. Okay. You get the feeling, we haven't seen a lot of them this year, but you get the feeling this Fiji and Drua side are a confidence team. <laughs> and goodness me, they look like they could walk down the catwalk at the moment. Don't they? A little bit of a strut coming out. Looking yeah, sensational. confidence. They don't want to do is concede a soft try now. They've got to keep fighting. We've done it all afternoon as we have a look at the runs. Pretty even. Run meters pretty even as well, considering we've had a couple of long range bombs from the Fijians this afternoon. That's a huge amount of run meters and runs from these two sides. Absolutely massive. Guys like Vasateri. Now Lungo up in the double digits for carries. Nathembi, 20 points on his Pat Malone. <laughs> As you said, though, Swain, he's been so well supported by Vasatiri this afternoon. I think he's been one of the best for the Indrua. He's done all the rough stuff, defended well, carried the ball hard. He's had a big responsibility with Sayoni Tui Pelotu across the field from him as well. Fijian bench so strong, just got depth to burn. The rising goes short side. Goddard hit hard. By Sal. Black hole. Black. Sanga has to go into scrum half. Maloney, not far away. Really getting off the line around the ruck. The Fijian Drua is a stray boot now. Picking goes. They're looking to go through the middle. The rising. Not making any ground. Get back. Playing advantage. Offside. Back. Keep managed to get, in, to get the advantage, advantage but line. they can't break this line yet. McGregor looking to step through. He got the arms free. He's still going, McGregor. Let's down, let's down. Let's down. Time off. Oh, I don't think he did get that one down. You could hear the rising players. Initial thought. Okay. Okay. One sec. I don't think so. And you can Dan? generally tell by the attitude yeah, the try scorer. There's no try. I just want you to check if he got grounding. You can generally tell by the try scorer's uh, emotion when he gets up off the ground. And Jack McGregor didn't seem too confident about it. Neither did the arriving players for the rising. 
Reevy there on top, number 23. He's on the ball. It looks like he tries to get his knee underneath. Yeah, look, if it's no try, I'm going back for a penalty over there. Your pillar defenders were offside. Okay, yeah, I think the knee might be underneath there. That that looks off the ground to me, Swaney. What do you think? Yeah, Reetha does a great job to get underneath it. It's tight, though. There might have been a second effort from McGregor there. This might show it. Well, the TMO's had his work cut out for him this afternoon. There's definitely no vision there of the if ball. No try, you got penalty advantage over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's bright yellow. I don't, I'm not, I don't think they can award this. If it was given a try on the field, you might get away with it. But I think it's going to come back to Nick Berry's decision. No conclusive evidence that McGregor no, gets the ball down. Decision. The minefield decision was no try. If I don't have grounding, so I've got to say. McGregor sounded confident. Although they, this time, they've stayed up. Yes, mate. I've got evidence of a grounding. You may award a try. OK, thank you. Time back on. The try. Well, there well, you go. <laughs> shows how much we know. <laughs> well, if thank there you, was man. evidence there, I'd love to know what it was. It was close. Well, it was tight. Evidence, I would have assumed, was a ball touching a blade of grass. Not sure we got evidence of that. But anyway, close enough for the rising, and that's an important try. Sure is guys have just spoken to the team it was actually that first angle that um where you can actually not see the ball go down but there's evidence of the hands not being under the ball you can see them sort of hanging out a little bit Perfect. so that's why the try was awarded thank you natalie Yanides. there you go i did say it looked like my knee was attempted to build under the ball i don't think he got it under there Agree they Looked it. McGregor can't add the extras. Will that be costly? 24 points for the Melbourne Rising. 40 points for the Fiji and Drew. Here's another look at it. McGregor with a bit of fancy footwork. Some fleet feet. And he falls down over the line. Fantastic to see a young kid run with that sort of aggression. Didn't stop fighting, McGregor. Work your way through contact. Quick one from Fiji. Oh, what about the pickup from Nathibi? He's a star, this kid. They've just got every trick in the book at the moment. The Fiji and Drua. They need to protect the ball. Inside ball to Vasateri. Like a torpedo flying through there. A lot of players off their feet. And Drew need to get back numbers on their feet. You can see Let's get it back. Theo Baluti trying to get people back on their feet. There's a big pack of bodies everywhere down here just on the rising goal line. Pick and go from Maui. They pick and go again. The Andrua looking to ram it home. They're going through the middle. Just wearing. The rising down. They're carrying pretty high into contact. They still managed to get to deck. There's bodies everywhere. Now they go again. Just inching towards the line. Oh, drops it back on the inside. Beautiful work from the Andrua. Held up though. Well, he's claiming the try. Did he get it down? And then it got dragged back up over Cummins' knee. Nick Berry's not going to have a look at it. He's pretty convinced. But again, great stuff from Fiji. And what about that little kickoff from Nathibi? The inside ball, a little peach. And yes, Nick Cummins. Sorry, not Nick Cummins. Steve Cummins. It's not the honey badger. <laughs> Steve Cummins. Cummins. Knee well. straight under the ball. Good stuff. Have a scrum. This scrum's been dominant today. Maybe just loitering behind the scrum. Which side's he going to go? I don't like leaving it in the scrum for too long, though. This Fiji inside. They've got to come right, Fiji. They've got the overlap. They sure do. Seru picks it off the back. The pick and go once again. 
Gonna try their hand again. Now Lungo, not far away. Nathabi is waiting for it, but they're gonna go out to Nathabi. He's seeking a third. Gets the offload away. Seru brought down just before the line. They're close. They're really close, the Andrua. We'll have a knock on. We'll play the knock on. And it was a shame, but the ball was absolutely ripped at Nathabi. He tried to drag it in, but it was far too hard considering how close he was. Okay. We've got some subs too. How about we just go here? Well, let's have a look at this little cheeky play from Nathabi. Oh, this is just brilliant. I don't think that actually hit the deck off the drop kick. It was just oh, a little We'll grubber. give it to him. We'll give it to him. Doesn't matter. That is just heads up thinking, and that was that ball. Far too hard. It was actually a Reedy, Cyril Reedy. Too hard to drag that in. Oh, the pressure still well and truly on the rising. They're in a tough position with this set piece. You know that Fiji and Drew is going to give it absolutely everything. Who wants some carver? <laughs> plenty on offer. That's where the post-match function is, isn't it, Sweeney? Nafibi been taken from the field, so Keeney Douglas comes on. What a day at the office for Nathibi. Maddox also leaving the field. It's been brave, Jack Maddox today. Came in under an injury cloud. Put in a pretty good shift. They're going to look to run it from their own line. There's space too. They get it to Tupo. He's dangerous in broken field. They've done well to run it out of there. Oh, he's mauled. What about this? Hungry defense on the Fiji and Drua. Now there's a bit of space to Siva, Saliva Saliva. And Lloyd Johansson takes it for a run. He's on the field, the big Swede. Rising just chancing their arms now. They have to score tries and they have to score them quick. They're just not going anywhere, the rising side to side, but no forward. Vailanu took it up. McGregor with a nice long ball out to Telfer. Maloney. They're a little bit too lateral, the rising at the moment. They've got to be more direct. They're not going anywhere. McGregor tries a little cheeky chip over the top and goes straight into the arms of Sal. He's been safe today. And they're going to go through the middle again, the Indrua. The Vuilati gives it to Kenny Douglas. And back to Polawangatabu. Here's Douglas again. Little chip in behind. Oh, there's a bit of space here for Davetta. And Davetta puts the ball down. That's the icing on the cake. Well, once again, the innovation and the ability to find open space by this Fiji and Drua team is absolutely superb. Apete De Vita, he's had such a good game here at Harlequins Rugby Club. But that was a little beauty and smart thinking from the Andrua in general. The kick through from Douglas was a little peach. The chase wasn't amazing, but the bad thing for the Rising was the only man tracking back was Dupai. He didn't have enough pace to keep up with De Vita. And that's his second this afternoon. And you've got to say, that probably is the nail in the coffin for the Rising. What a historic moment coming up. Still four to play, but it looks like an unassailable lead for the Fiji and Drua. Their first victory in the National Rugby Championship. Douglas looking to add the extras. 
just across the face of Al. So it'll be 24, 45 points to 24. And chalk up the W. Ladies and gentlemen, get the carver ready. <laughs> what a day. Oh, what about the skill in the air? Sensational one-handed grab there from Sagiwa. He's already scored two today. Palm that with one hand. Volker with the run up. Now Tawaki. 80 minutes for the big tight head prop. Kenny Douglas drops it back on the inside to Vasateri, who's just been relentless today. Stewart, the captain. Elusive, still going, John Stewart. Couple of quick hands out to Duthavaki. And the Vuilati goes himself. It's been turned over though. The rising. Tupai in contact. Did very well. Oh, Harrison Goddard. What absolutely wailed. The physicality that this Indrua side has brought has been relentless today. Tuipolotu going for a run. Saanga. Turn over. Turned over by now Longo. Just organising themselves now, the Fiji and Drua. They come short side. Bola Wangatabu. Inside to Seru. Met by Tom Maloney. Good shot. Now they go wide. Kenny Douglas, the little cheeky chip over the top. <laughs> McGregor with the volley. Well, and it's in the back of the net. <laughs> if he missed that, it was danger. Aroni Sal was flying down the left wing. But very cool, calm and collected play from the young fly half. Unfortunately, he was outside of his 22, so we'll come back to where he connected it. Apedi DeVita is down over here on the near side of the field, Swanee. It looks to be his shoulder or his wrist. He looks to be in a bit of pain. Oh, he's been outstanding today, DeVita. Oh, it'll be so sad if he can't finish the game. Douglas. That's to Vasateri. Vasateri getting out of one. Always making metres in contact. Here's Douglas again. Looks to go himself. Got the offload away to DeVita, who's up off the deck like Lazarus. He can smell a try. He wants to get back into it. And the Fiji and Drew have just strangled the rising out of this game. Bolawanga Tabu goes for a run. Now they come short side. Oh, whack! Great shot there by Lel Pepe. They pick and go though. Maui, the Drew, they just hold on to this pill. They're strangling the rising out of this game with 20 odd seconds left. Turnover from the rising. It'll be too little too late though, as the clock ticks down. Not much to gain either. I wouldn't be surprised to see the rising just put this one into touch, Swaney. I think that's enough for one afternoon. Back ten, boys, back ten. McGregor puts it into our camera deck once again. Of course, with the old rules, the game would be over, but now you're forced to play the line out, aren't you? So the Rising might have one more crack. Can they score another try here at their home ground? If they do, they take away the bonus point for Fiji and Drua, so they'll be looking to do that. It's a knock on, though. A famous day for Fiji and rugby. The Fiji and Drua victorious here at Harlequins Rugby Union Club in Melbourne. 45 points to 24. What an afternoon it's been. A fantastic day for Fiji and rugby.
Well, folks, stick around. We'll take a quick break. And we'll catch up with the captains afterwards. 45 points to 24. The Fiji and Drua victorious here in Melbourne.